Hello everybody, um, welcome to your next tutorial. Um, sorry I'm a bit sick, um, today, so, yeah, please, um, bear that for now. Um, so now this is about collision, and this is gonna be definitely the hardest part in this tutorial series right now. The reason being is because we're not using inheritance or polymorphism or any of the advanced object-oriented, um, properties, um, the collision um <clears throat> the collision functions are going to be taking a lot of parameters and you're going to have to handle a lot of things whereas you wouldn't have to handle we're using polymorphism so when it comes to collision yeah um inheritance and poly and polymorphism would be better but this is for beginners <coughs> sorry so um before we even get into collision class um let's look at the player class and um, remember I said that I had some variables and some stuff that I added that I said you could add later? Well, add them now. Um, these are the stuff that you need to have in your program right now. And while you're adding them, I will explain what each of them does. So, X and Y is the obvious, the X and Y position of our box. The X2 and Y2 is obvious again, the X2 and Y2 properties of our box. The width and height is another obvious one, the width and the height of our box. And the H direction and V direction is not so obvious. Basically, H direction stands for horizontal direction. If horizontal direction is set to 1, that means um, you are moving right. If horizontal direction is set to 2, that means that you're moving left. And if it's set to 0, that means you are not moving right or left. Um, for vertical direction, if it's set to 1, then you are moving up, which means you're jumping. Um, a vertical direction set to 2, that means you are going down, which means that you're falling due to gravity. And if it's equal to 0, it means you're doing none. But in our program, it will either be 1 or 2, right? Um, velocity x and velocity y, um, basically, uh, the it tells the x-coordinate how much to move um, and in what direction to move in. And uh, for velocity y, it does that for jumping and stuff, and it also helps with gravity to make it more realistic. As for speed and jump speed, speed is basically the speed that your your box moves at or your player moves at, and the jump speed is how um the height that your player jumps at and the speed that which you jump at. And the gravity is self-explanatory: the the amount of force of gravity, how fast you want your sprite to reach the ground. And jump, if jump is set to true, that means you're able to jump. That means you're on the ground or you're on a platform or whatever. Um, platform, if it's set to false, that means you're not on a platform or you're not on the ground. So it's used to set to activate gravity, right? And if platform is true, then it deactivates the gravity and it stops you from falling. So that's basically it for the player class. Um, now we... Now let's go to the collision class and let's create the properties of the collision class and you will see why it makes it a bit more complicated. Now before I begin, um there's something called guard tags. Um and then sometimes you will get like um an error called class type redefinition. And that is because um say um when you make larger programs, say you include player.h in in here, right? And you also have um, player.h in the main or whatever. But when you put map.h in the main function or whatever, then you have two player.h's. So it doesn't know what to do. So it says um, class type redefinition. <coughs> so when you make a guard tag, it basically only makes one instance of that class. And you won't get a um, one definition of the class. So you will not get that error. So, um, wait, hold on a second, my girl's texting me, hold on a second. Okay, I'll text her back later. <laughs> so, now back to Gertags. Um, so basically this is how you do it. <coughs> you put if and def, um... And then you put um, anything you want here. Just make sure it's not the same as in the other um, header files. Normally you will name it in the class name underscore um, h, meaning for header. Then you put define <coughs> collision underscore, um, oh my bad, collision. You put the same as you put before. 
and then you're gonna put end div. And that's it. And you put all your contents inside <coughs> inside um what you put over here. So anyways, um let's include our libraries. Um so include allegro.h and include fstream and since it's for beginners let's include <coughs> namespace .scd, um that cd namespace sorry i'm really sick right now give me a second uh i'm so sick okay anyways i'm um, class collision <coughs> Oh wow, I need some like chicken noodle soup or something. Okay, so we set up the collision class. Don't forget the semicolon at the end. And put private and public. <coughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna pause the video. Um, get myself a drink of water because I'm really coughing a lot. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. <coughs> really sorry. Okay, anyways. We have our private and our public. Okay, so in our private, we're gonna have load counter, load counter x, load counter y, um, map size x, just like our map, and map size y, and collision map file 100 by 100. <coughs> Um, so this is this looks identical basically to our map um class and you will see why we have this <coughs> so we're gonna have uh, um wait first our constructor and our destructor <coughs> and init update uh, and draw And we're gonna have load collision map and make sure it's constant char file name. And we're gonna have <coughs> void plat platform collision. And then the parameters is gonna have a lot of parameters. Oh my bad, what did I do my my bad I messed with the class name. Anyways, these are the parameters, pay attention int ampersand x because we're going to be changing the value anything that has an ampersand in it we're going to change the value within the function and we want to change it globally right throughout the program so int ampersand y int ampersand x2 int ampersand y2 int int ampersand velocity y int ampersand h direction and same for v direction and speed uh bool jump bool platform oh wait my bad I forgot the ampersand ampersand jump bool ampersand platform oh my bad so as you can see it has a lot of um things in the parameters um, and this is why it makes it so complicated. There is probably an easier way to do it, um, even without using polymorphism and stuff, but I'm just doing it this way to make it easier on you. Like, I could, I could easily store the values, um, of the X and, co and all of this information into a text file, and I could load it from a text file, and then do all the calculations from it, right? I could also do that and I can show you that method if you prefer that method but then it will require more work in the player class not much more work but it, not a lot more work but just a little bit more work and stuff like that so it might make it easier than this so I'll show you both ways about going about that and yeah um that's it I'm gonna show for this tutorial and the next tutorial I will we will get more into the collision class so thanks for watching this um I hope you look forward to it and I'm gonna be making other videos today Hopefully I'm not as sick because if I get too sick and I can't really make videos and I'm going to have to postpone the date, which I really don't want to do. 
because I want to get into the shooter tutorials, right? So, anyways, um, thanks for watching this, and bye.